so we kind of came together to push the limits and blow the roof off of anything that had been known in the RV industry before. So this RV started as a 2020 Montana 3791 RD. It's a standard floor plan that Montana has and The living room. Yeah, the living room. So this is at the back of the RV. So back here on this wall, this is the window with the window shade down right now, but right now the projector screen is coming down in front of the window shade. I think a lot of people would love this. I was like, oh my God, it cannot go back in. Like it is so much more open without it. So any two tones that you want. And I said, well, of course I want black and gold. So yeah. that's the only, only black and gold suburban stove on the road. A water vapor fireplace. Um, so it's actually plumbed into the rig. So what you're seeing is water vapor illuminated by light bulbs. We actually mounted the batteries in the generator bay. So it does not have a generator, it has batteries instead. if she's home. Rizzo's there. Rizzo's home. Rizzo's her dog, yeah. Puppy's home. Hi, Jen and hey, Mike, hello. Hey, Come on in. Hey, Rizzo. Thank you. And Rizzo's Rizzo. here. Rizzo. The whole gang's here. Hi, buddy. How are you? Yeah, you want to see anybody else? Hey, this is awesome. We've wanted Thank to you. really take a good look at this uh, for so long. I'm excited to see you at the rig. Well, I'm excited to show you guys finally. We're happy You're to be here. Yes, oh my gosh, where do you start? Look at this. Done. Look at that light. I've never seen that kind of a fixture in an RV. Right. So you tell us what we need to see. Oh my gosh, where do I even start? Um, well, I guess we can kind of start with the quick story of this was this RV is kind of the brainchild between my business, which is the Flipping Nomad and Keystone RV Company. Um, so we kind of came together to push the limits and blow the roof off of anything that had been known in the RV industry before. So this RV started as a 2020 Montana 3791 RD. It's a standard floor plan that Montana has. And what the, one of the biggest changes that we made down here is normally this floor plan has an island in it right here. And the island had the sink in it. Um, and we actually took the island out for paint. And when it went out, I was like, oh my God, it cannot go back in. Like it is so much more open without it. And so we rebuilt this cabinet in order to move the sink over here. Now, is, am I seeing gold? You are, yes. It's a gold sink, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do a gold sink just because it's different and you mm -hmm. don't see a gold sink in a house, let alone an RV. And honestly, I really didn't have high hopes for it because I had to be kind of one of those gimmicky things that would get scratched or whatever, but it's held up beautifully. And then over here, this pantry, um, it was kind of a standard thing in Montana to have a pantry here. And then when we first built it, the intentions of this RV was to be a showpiece. And so it used to have open shelves. We installed open shelves on the first build here and it was kind of like a showpiece here. Well, then COVID happened and then now the rig has retired to be more of like my personal RV. And so right now I'm currently in the process of rebuilding this right now, which is why there's not hardware here. There's kind of a missing piece here, but uh, this is a dishwasher you right added here. that? Yep, added okay. this in. And a nice, small, but adequate dishwasher. Yeah, and I love it. The perfect RV size and it works really well. Um, it's meant to be on a countertop and hook into a sink and a faucet, but I permanently plumbed it in. Um, and then I had enough room over here to build the soap um, into its own little oh, cabinet very here. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Really convenient. And then this is actually um, a microwave convection of an air fryer combo. That yeah, really? just put fryer? it in. Yeah, I've only used it a few times, but so far I've been really happy with it. It's kind of a, a little bit of little a pantry. pantry. Yeah. And then eventually, you know, like I was saying, this is under construction right now, but right here will be a pull-out countertop extension. Uh, I just have, and then it'll be on drawer glide, so it'll slide in like a drawer. And dishes? Yeah, so this is just kind of like food and dishes and stuff in here, mm -hmm. kind of a, a mess, and this okay. is part of the solar components here, which yeah, we'll, we'll, talk we'll get about into all later. Yeah. And, <laughs> and look at this refrigerator. This slides yeah. In. Correct, yeah. So this is one slide here with the fridge and the stove area. And this the was the standard slide that Montana correct, had, right? Yeah, and this is a residential fridge, which is a standard option in Montana's. Um, the and then, big, is that the refrigerator? Yeah, this freezer? is the freezer. Oh my gosh, that's, that's humongous. Yeah, and it, it has an ice maker too. Perfect. Yeah. 
all built in. So this is a standard thing with Montana. We didn't do anything special with it. Um, and then normally the stove is here with cabinetry and then normally in this floor plan, this is the microwave with uh, two cabinets on either side. Um, but we put this arch in here and then um, this is what's called a slide fascia. Um, so we ran the fascia up to the ceiling to kind of make it blend away. Gold hardware. Yeah, so this stove was actually custom built for us by Suburban because um, they were wanting to get into the two-tone cafe line. Um, and so they said, we'll give you any any two tones that you want. And I said, well, of course I want black and gold. So yeah. that's the only only black and gold Suburban stove on the road. Now, is this standard, the, the bar with the stool? No, or? so normally in this floor plan, um, this right here is a love seat. And then behind the love seat is basically a wall and the wall goes down into some cabinetry that's down here um, but one thing that i wanted to do in this build was have a multi-sided fireplace somewhere in here and so the love seat and the wall sat up really high and so it kind of blocked the two spaces and so i thought this would be a fantastic opportunity to put in a three-sided fireplace here and make these two rooms feel more as one now the fireplace is on but we have to tell people that this is not really fire it's not no it's, it looks like fire this is um, a water vapor fireplace um, so it's actually plumbed into the rig so what you're seeing is water vapor illuminated by light bulbs and there's a code called zero clearance where it says a fireplace cannot get hot enough to melt a slide Okay, which is fair, right? <laughs> so um, this was the only one that we could find that would pass the code and, and gave the aesthetic that we wanted. But I love it. I yeah, just love awesome. it. And it, this is water vapor, so mm -hmm. it helps with humidity a little bit. Yeah, when you're so out it has humidity if you need humidity. Yes, yeah. So it's great in dry climates. Humid climates, not so much. Um, but if the air conditioners are running, the air conditioners suck up all of the moisture and the humidity. So beautiful. Wow. Now we go up three stairs and and the, the living room yeah the living room so this is at the back of the rv so this wall back here is like the, the back wall of it so to kind of give the viewers an orientation of where we are within the rv um and you'll notice yes we did take three steps up back here so under our feet is a humongous storage tray that pulls out um towards the back of the, the RV. It's like a 10 foot long tray. So it kind of goes this way. Correct, yeah. So that's why it's elevated back here is to have room for that tray. Now these are not stock pieces of furniture. No, right? no, yeah. they are not. They were all um, custom built by Lippert for this project. Um, and then when we first built the RV, um, it had two chairs back here. Um, but since, like I was saying, that the rig has kind of retired to be more of my personal RV, um, I'm about to build a storage console back here and then this is um, the TV it's a projector <laughs> so back here on this wall this is the window with the window shade down right now but right now the projector screen is coming down in front of the window shade here is the your projector for the television and you've got the big screen the projector I think a lot of people would love this yeah I think it's a, it's a great option because it gives you best of both worlds you can have the window and the projector how big is this um, it's about an 80 inch wow. TV. Yeah. And I like it because you can have a ginormous TV and still have the window too. It's, it's whatever you want. Okay. okay, Courtney, let's look at the front. Let's start at the front. Yes, and the what bathroom's kind of the star of the show, so let's oh, head there. okay. Whoa, I, I can see why this is the star of the show. Isn't that fun? It oh, is my a goodness. lot of fun. Let's start with this. Yeah, so that's just a. Um, vessel sink and um, I wanted a unique faucet and so that we found that blade faucet uh, that comes out of the wall and then above it you'll see is the backlit vanity mirror and uh, if you ever need to tweeze anything that thing well it's like it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Oh. <laughs> you and see everything? You and see everything oh, yes. yes and, and then, look at this. Oh yes, freestanding clawfoot bathtub. And when Keystone approached me about doing this project, I had lived in an RV full time for five years and um, I just really missed having access to a bathtub. And um, so I said, that is one of the biggest priorities of this build is to figure out how to get a bathtub in there somewhere. Now, how about the weight of all of that? Yeah, so the bathtub is actually made out of acrylic, so it only weighs 85 pounds. Courtney, is that a shower head I see up there? Uh, coming out of the ceiling? Yes. yes. Yes, that is a shower head up there. And then on the 
right side of the tub, there's a bathtub filling faucet with another like handheld shower head on it. So it's Very got nice. two shower heads and a faucet. So this, can't really see it because of the reflection, but this is a fireplace and it's two ways. Is that a vapor mm -hmm. one as well? Yep, it's a water vapor fireplace and it's double sided so you can see it from the bedroom and the bathroom. Well, let me show you the bedroom too because it's kind of its own piece of over the top. The, the two-sided fireplace here and then just to kind of do something unique we went with the black oversized print floral mm -hmm. wallpaper here i can tell you right now this is my favorite room you like it i love the <laughs> wallpaper the fireplace the sliding door the lights around the mirror i think this is really sharp wow. thank you oh and it's even great for your laundry you've got a place to yeah, I've got the laundry basket here and then these lights are operational. And then it's actually a hidden door too. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so. And look at that, you've- I have everything you've labeled. Have, come on, <laughs> I know, seriously? I do, it's kind of sick, I know. No, it saves <laughs> a lot of time. Well, it does. Seriously. I actually, so I have two wardrobes because, you know, actually building these RVs, like my shop clothes get disgusting. And so I was having a hard time keeping that organized when I had all my shop clothes in here still. So that's why that's <laughs> everything's <great>. labeled. <laughs> this is a fun slide. Normally in this floor plan, in all Montanas actually, the bed is in the slide and then the closet is up front here. And since the only thing Keystone asked for was the wow factor, we said, you know, we should reconfigure the bedroom and do something different. So that's why we did it. So this wall up here is the nose of the RV. Um, and then we uh, put the closet here. You're plugged into 50 amp here. I am. But, uh, but I don't have to be. Well, let's see how that works. Yeah. Well, everything's actually outside, so we got to come out here to see it all. So this RV is um, so upfitted to be off the grid with batteries and solar and everything that we actually mounted the batteries in the generator bay. So it does not have a generator. It has batteries instead. Um, so what you're looking at is four of the new Battleborn Game Changer batteries. Um, so they are 270 amp hours each uh, for a total of 1,080 amp hours. So then the batteries basically act as the gas tank storing the energy, but where the energy comes from is the solar panels up on the roof. And um, I have 2,600 watts of panels up there, 10 panels total, two different sizes for a total of 2,600 watts. Courtney, how long can you go off the grid like this with um, power? You know, as long as I'm not running the air conditioner, it, like I can basically go indefinitely. Um, the air conditioner is by far um, the biggest power hog. And so it's kind of a, a, like almost a dance in a sense where it depends on what your conditions are. You know, right now it's sunny. And so if I were to be off the grid, the panels are getting plenty of sun. So they're pumping plenty of juice into the system. But if it were ultra cloudy, then the panels can't recharge the system very fast hardly at all so I can run the air conditioner much longer on sunny days than I can on cloudy days all right so what I want to do is look at what you have done for because you work out of this I want to see what your office looks like and then I'd like to see if you'd come over and look at our RV and see what's possible with mine so I can edit and work out on the road well let's go look at my office all right I see it down there so, I've been actually looking at that all the time you're talking to Jennifer. I'm saying, okay, I need something like this. So you have like a real desk. I do, yeah. This is just a desk that I bought online. Standard desk, it is mounted into the wall, so I don't have to worry about packing it at all on a travel day. Um, and then for the chair on a travel day, all I do is just lay it flat on its back and it just slides under the desk and no problems there. And then I had enough room for a little storage console over here too. So let's go look at mine and maybe you can give me some ideas and uh, help me figure out where I can get it done. Let's do it.